Hi Imran. Hi Jayesh. Hi. You all are from Aquadam. Yeah. Can you explain what you all are doing with this well here in Adarsh Palm Retreat? So this is uh, one of the withdrawal well in Adarsh Palm Retreat. So we have actually done did a pumping test yesterday when we came in the morning. So what exactly is pumping test? So basically we monitor a well and we discharge water from it and we monitor the water level changes in it. So you pump the water out? Yeah, we pump the water out and we see how, how the water is, how the levels are falling down. During that the pumping? The, yeah, that is, yeah, that is the, during the pumping, that is called drawdown. Mm -hmm. So we monitor the drawdown changes happening in the well. Mm -hmm. And after that, when the pump is stopped, we find how the water level rises in the well. So mm -hmm. that is a part of a recovery, how your well recovers. Okay. Mm -hmm. So basically we have installed a sensor yesterday wherein it's a, a hobo water level sensor which monitors water level on the basis of pressure readings which it takes and Imran can you show the sensor and yeah we just uh, as soon as he finishes what he's yeah yeah so you can uh, you can now we are retrieving the sensor after 24 hours yeah so you've done a 24 hour cycle yeah, yeah. and you pumped all the water out almost uh, not completely hmm. so we went till the second uh, second bring of the safety grill which is there inside Okay. So we went till there and then we stopped the pump and then we started measuring the recovery levels. Okay. So what we did was uh, we did manually with the measuring tape and uh, also based on the time and also we put the sensor which is more accurate which will give the 24 hour. Uh, and the sensor captures data every, every what 5 minutes? How many? So at the initial stage it was taking readings of high frequency hmm. like for every 10 seconds it took 5 readings of 10 seconds then after that it was 1 minute readings and then after that we were monitoring for 15 15 minutes and later on for the rest part of it we took it for half an hour so every half an hour it was logging data water level data from the well we can put that manually in the sensor how much uh, interval we want right so we have a choice of setting the interval in the hobo sensor uh, usage hmm. wherein we can set the intervals as per our requirements which will it will uh, log it accordingly hmm. So then what you will do is to download the data yeah. into so we, the laptop. Exactly. So using right. the software, we will mm. actually download the data mm. where we will get a graph which will talk about how the drawdown has taken place and how is the recovery. So basically using some formulas and the methods which have been there as a part of hydrogeological measurements, we will actually calculate the transmissivity and the storativity of the aquifer. So mm. basically transmissivity is the amount of the volume of water being given in a certain interval of time. So your well will, your aquifer which is feeding this well will talk about how much vo volume of water it's giving in a particular interval of time and the storativity is something that is your capacity of your aquifer to store water. Right. So, so one, one, the storativity refers to how much water the aquifer can store. Exactly. The transmissivity refers to how quickly the water can come into a well. Exactly. So how how much volume of well your water from your aquifer is getting into your well? Right. In a certain interval of time. Right. Yeah. And with these two things, these are two very important things to understand an aquifer. And with these two things we can determine a lot of things of how to manage water and, and how to manage the aquifer itself exactly right? so yeah so it will it will give us a lot of information about the aquifer properties which mm. are very very important to actually plan a management plan or your pumping cycles or many other things along with that yeah so can you can you explain that pumping cycles you refer to pumping cycles so pumping so, cycles is actually depending on your properties of your aquifer how much is the sufficient time of pumping that will be or a manageable pumping hours so basically which will not exploit or um, dewater your well to a very large extent so it, it actually refers to the properties of aquifers and um, it will talk a lot about how, how your pumping cycle should be so to how to sustainably pump water from an aquifer? So that will actually come out of our calculations, mm -hmm. uh, the figures which will talk about that. So once we are uh, with those calculations, we will really talk about how, how should be the pumping cycles and how much power of motor can be used actually to have a sustainable use of this water from the well. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Jayesh. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Imran.